Hey guys. Hey guys. We're back with another sci-fi review, this time reviewing the sci-fi original series Aftermath, Season 1, Episode 11, titled Where the Dead Men Lost Their Bones. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. So the title of this episode is actually directly related to a previous episode in Rat's Alley. If you're reading T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland, the line is, In Rat's Alley, where the dead men lost their bones. So the two titles are connected. The episode kicks off with a little mini flashback to Seattle, and we see the wormhole vortex thingy sucking people up. But from this episode, it seems like it only takes certain people. Yeah, either it only takes certain people, or people are just unlucky and running in the wrong direction. I don't know. It really seems like cer only certain people are taken. Because it takes the one woman's husband twice, because he was in Seattle, and then the wormhole dropped him in Idaho, and then it took him again. And it took the reporter twice. So I think it's targeting certain people. And I think probably the reason why Seattle was completely empty is because everybody freaked out and when people got sucked into a vortex in the sky, <laughs> they just said they just screw left. it and We're left. like, yeah, grand old F that. We're <laughs> yeah. out of here. So in this episode, Josh is in super bad shape. And Karen and Matt, they go out to scavenge and try and find some Tetra. And Bree, she just, she gets stir crazy and has she's like I, I have to, i have to do something I, i'm useless here so she goes out to look for some tetra and got not Bree's best moment i gotta tell you because no. dana ends up getting knocked out by josh and he's off on his own now and Bree gets tackled and kidnapped by a, a couple of kids by yeah. three kids like there is a reason why they needed two people to watch josh and Bree leaving and dana getting knocked out that was the reason why there was two people who needed to be watching Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Bree is very impulsive. Yes, very, and very that impulsive. that came through loud and clear in this episode. And we're and talking about the three kids who captured her. I want to mention something. I think they totally planned to kill Sarah. I absolutely do. Because when they had Bree, and she's like, I don't have any Tetra. And they're like, we don't care about Tetra. We want drugs. Yeah. Okay, so they're, after, they're, they're just looking to get high. They don't care about Tetra. And then later on, they say, we just want Sarah and her Tetra. Yeah, and it's it's Sarah's future. They were totally yeah. planning on killing Sarah. They didn't. They weren't interested in Tetra. Yeah. And I think Sarah knew that, which is why when when she snuck out, she actually opened fire and, and helped uh, Bree get out of that situation. So repeated throughout this entire episode, basically, was the one is many and the many are one. And it really circled around the reporter and Josh, but it seems like after Josh got the Tetra and he was coming around and being more normal, it like clicked in him that this is a key phrase on how they're to survive the moon exploding, basically, how, they're, how they are going to survive that. And when they listen to the radio, Moondog, he flat out tells them, you know, say say the say my words, say my keywords, my my password basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. The the one is many and the many are one. If you want to survive this catastrophe, those words are the key. And it looks like next episode they're doing time travel. Oh, I've been looking forward to this all season because you're like, you know they're doing time travel. Yeah. And now they're gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And even just a few, a couple episodes ago, Dana said something's wrong with time. So yeah. they teased it then, we're getting it now, and I'm really excited for that. So Dana's had a boyfriend, Bree's had a boyfriend, is Matt going to have a girlfriend now? Sure is seems he, like Is it. he going to finally get his schmoo schmoo on? It seems like he might. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I, I like Sarah as a character. She, she seems like she can hold her own. She's not going to be a hindrance to the group. But both Martin and Devin died, so how long does Sarah have? So this was episode 11. There's only two episodes left in the season. Oh my, It's this season has gone really, really fast. I'm really excited to see how this season concludes, because the whole, the whole season one has just been absolutely crazy. In the finale has just got to one-up everything, <laughs> so how crazy is it going to get? Okay, I think that's everything we have for this video. If you have anything to add, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this review, tell us by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you want to survive this castrop...
Catastrophe? Yeah, that. <laughs> Castrophity. Castrophity? Castrophity, yeah. Catastrophe? That's a, that's a thing. If you want to survive this catastrophe. <laughs> Catastrophe. Shit. Catastrophe.